And so I'm back to do <coughs> some predictions for another UFN. Uh, there's not many people on this card that I like or know much about. Um, the main event is a women's bout, Holly Holm and Valentina Shevenko. Um, Holly Holm will probably win that one, uh, I imagine. The next one could be a corker, this one. Gilbert Melendez, he's been round a long time, but uh, and he is really good, but he also tends to have um, quite bad luck, I think, sometimes. Uh, is fighting Edson Barboza, who is number six, um, and uh, he should do, he's, he's a very good fighter, and I think this could be uh, um, a fight of the night uh, contender. You know, I sort of hope Gilbert Melendez wins this one, because I'm worried about how many other sort of big shots he's really going to get, um, to be totally honest, uh, which I think is unfair um, of, P of sort of fate, I suppose, not to grant him, really. Um, but uh, Edson Barboza is no... Um, he's not going to just roll over and die, you know. Uh, Francis Nagano and Bojan Mil Mil Milovic or something... Uh, don't really know. Um, there is another women's bout. Felice Herrig and uh, Kaylin Curran. Uh, probably Felice on that, but who knows. Uh, Frankie Sainz is fighting Eddie Wineland. Um, now, Frankie is actually seeded here uh, 12th, whereas Eddie is only seeded 15th. But having said that, uh, you know, I think that Eddie Wineland, um, he's always very exciting to watch. Uh, and I do think that he will probably win this one. The The real thing that is playing to Frankie here is the statistic on decision. Uh, and I very much doubt that he, would, he will take Eddie Wineland to decision. Therefore, I think it will probably be um, uh, Eddie, Eddie Wineland on the feet winning that one. The other brilliant match on this card is Darren Elkins and Godofredo Pepe. Um, Darren Elkins has been around a significant amount of time. He seeded here 12th uh, with a record of 20 and 5, whereas Godofredo, not so much, but he has been around. He's been around a, a, a few years. Um, 13 and 3. Uh, Darren Elkins is quite spread out when it comes to uh, statistical statistics here. Uh, his biggest is decision, whereas Godofredo Pepe, 62% on the ground. Um, so that, that could be a very good fight. So that's a couple that we've had. Uh, Kamaru Usman and Alexander Yakolev, no idea. Uh, probably Usman on that. Uh, although I have to say that the Russian has a has a better record, twenty three and six versus seven and one, but it really does depend on who he's fought as to how he's got that. Um, and uh, Usman is seventy one percent on the feet when it comes to finishes. There, uh, Michael Prazerez and J C Cottrell, no idea. Uh, Alex Oliveira and James Muntasri. Uh, I'll go for Alex on that one. That will be a war on the feet for certain, that one. Hector Urbina and George Sullivan. Not sure. 25 and 9 versus 17 and 5. Again, it's going to be mainly on their feet. George Sullivan doesn't have any percent for finishes on the ground, which could be uh, an, his undoing here. However, Hector only has 20%, so I don't really know that. Uh, Jim Allers and Jason Knight. Uh, again, not really sure, except that the statistics here point to it being a ground war. Uh, and the last card on the... Uh, the last fight on the card... Dmitry Smolyakov and Luis Henrique. Perfect eight for Dmitry. 
split evenly between uh, feet and ground whereas Henrique is very much sort of spread out between all three uh, I don't know but I don't I, I, I don't don't think perfect records are the way to go really so I imagine I'll go for Louis on that but really to be totally honest it, I, I only know a few of the people on that card uh, and those I uh, made quite clear and I hope they do very well. 